work, he says, starts from chaos, yet his paintings fetch up to £10,000 apiece. His first solo exhibition, which opened last month, was a sellout success. John Thompson's now on the brink of international recognition. But this self-taught Lancashire artist is no youthful Brit art phenomenon. He's just celebrated his 82nd birthday. Jane Dodge went to meet the man who's been called the new Ellis Lowry. A boy racer at 82. John Thompson's MG Rover with its rear spoiler, one of the few signs of his newfound success. His flat cap, a very clear statement, he won't be forgetting his roots any time soon. Self-taught John Thompson was a late starter. Recognition has come only in the last five years. The man many are now comparing to Lowry is modest about his achievement. Amazed, shocked. Uh, there is a little secret in that, you see. I'll tell everybody so they'll know. If you have an exhibition and you're a painter and you go, and you go out, have, a, have an exhibition, make sure you've got some people who are going to buy your pictures before you start. If you go in, put all your pictures in and think people will come because you're a wonderful painter, they won't buy a picture. Even if you have a castle, they wouldn't buy a picture. You've got to talk to people, be friendly. And I always said, do you like them? And it seems increasing numbers of people apparently do. John Thompson has now sold more than 2,000 paintings. His pictures of groups of men have proved the most popular. Three of them now hang in the House of Lords. Right, that's uh, the first sketch finished. I can come in on Wednesday. I could, uh, if I'm in uh, full song, shall we say, I can do about five, uh, 20 by 30 pictures by Saturday. And that's then quite prolific, to... isn't it? Uh, well, even that 40 by 30, I've done big oils, 40 by 30 in a day. The former door-to-door -door salesman still works from a tiny studio in the village of Greenfield near Oldham. It's an Aladdin's cave packed with work, both diverse in subject and in style. We've just done a very large exhibition to promote um, the new book that we've produced on him in Manchester. And we had 350 people came to the opening of that exhibition. And we've sold 125 pictures so far. And I don't know anyone who's had that success in Manchester. And people who bought his pictures 10 years ago have seen a tenfold increase in the value of those pictures. Charles Barker bought his first painting 18 years ago. He now has more than 100. But it's Thompson's paintings of groups of men that particularly appeal to him. I can remember groups of men like that. I've got a picture that depicts that quite well. And it reminds me as a boy when I used to go and watch men tossing pennies, gambling, before they went home to give the money to their wives. And I've got a picture that actually captures that feeling of there, because I used to be the lookout watching for the police before they came and nabbed them. And he just does that so well. And that's a time of life that's gone. An hour into our visit and John Thompson's already halfway through his painting. Once finished, it'll have a price tag of around £3,000. Five years ago, it would have cost £500. Now I've, uh, I've become experienced with myself and relaxed. Before, it was a bit of a torture try, trying to think what to do. Now I realise that thinking is no good in painting, so I clear my mind of everything. As soon as, soon as, as soon as your mind is clear of anything, then you can start to paint. Two hours later and the painting's nearly finished. And John Thompson has no plans to slow down. He wants to break into the American market next. His groups of men are now queuing for work not in northern England, but New York. Have you got any plans to retire? No, never, no. I'll die in the saddle. With a brush, yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, no, you can't, if, if you stop, you'll just, you'll last about 12 months, two years and drop dead then. You'll suddenly fade away very fast. Like Lowry, John Thompson has won recognition late in life. But if he cracks America, he'll have achieved what his predecessor never could. John Thompson there just starting out, and so is more for news soon, Sarah.
would you expect to be doing at the age of 82? For those lucky enough to get there, you'd expect to be taking it easy, perhaps. You probably wouldn't be expected to be making your name as a famous artist. Well, why not? When John Thompson from Ashton Underline was made redundant 26 years ago, he turned to painting, which was something that he remembered being rather good at at school. He never expected, though, that decades later he might be described as the new L.S. Lowry. He's going to be telling us all about it in a minute after this report from Sarah Elliott. You would be forgiven for thinking this was an ordinary Tuesday morning at John Thompson's home, but you would be wrong. There's not a great deal about this man that you could describe as ordinary. Especially as this is John's car and he's on his way to work in it. We've set him a brief, you see, to paint one of his classics for us in a day. What's your inspiration for this one? I must remain in a sort of happy state, untroubled. And if I'm on trouble, I can paint. Have you always known that you've got this talent? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's only in the last two years that John's popularity has rocketed. He's just exhibited in Manchester with another planned in London later this year. His work is a must on the walls of any avid collector. John's always had a very loyal following in the north. You know, he's probably sold about 2,000 pictures in his life. Uh, in 2002, the House of Lords took three of his pictures. And as I say, he's now much more of a national figure. Next year, John will exhibit in New York. He's adapted his work for an American audience. If I was doing that as an English scene, yeah. as a Northwestern, a Manchester scene, then I would change it again right. and I wouldn't have that cap. And how does it feel when somebody's willing to pay thousands of pounds for one of your... Well, that, it, it happens. If somebody said that 25 years ago, I'd have died on the spot. <laughs> Despite his fame and fortune, he still refuses to splash out on some luxuries. See, that's become a, a classic now. See, the handle's gone. Does Practice. it matter to you, when, when you're, once you're no longer on this earth, that your pictures well, are I'll still be as popular? Earth. I think we all want to leave something, don't we? Of course, uh, what I used to say before uh, getting this idea, I said, all men, when they die, they come back as bluebells. Sarah Elliott, Granada Reports, Ashton under Lime. John, see you watching that report there. Um, what do you think when everybody keeps saying, this guy's the new Lowry? Do you sort of shake your head and go, they must be mad or something? That's right, yes, yeah. Yeah, no, Lowry uh, was uh, uh, an observer and I'm an absorber. OK, I like that idea. Yeah. And also, what, when you say you like to be happy or you like to feel yes. clear, how, what do you mean by that exactly? Uh, you have to empty your, your head of all thoughts. Do you find let, that easy? If somebody else, in a poetic sense, let the muse take over. Right. And do you regret that you didn't go straight into painting from school? Uh, well, the, the reason for that is, uh, when you're younger, you're interested in girls, aren't you? So... <laughs> Was it as simple as that? As simple as that, yeah. <laughs> but were you encouraged when you were at school oh, to yes. go into painting? Oh, yes. I went three or four times a week in the art class. Uh, which normally you don't do. And, and, uh, and how uh, long did it take you to do this work hmm. here? Well, the actual uh, uh, painting itself, without stopping for conversation or a cup of coffee, uh, I would say the total painting time was about 25 minutes. But it's more difficult when you're interrupted? Well, it is, because I've never been interrupted before, so it's something new. It was a bit of an effort to have a go, but I thought, well, now's the time, so I must do it. Well, John, John thank you yeah, thank so you very much. much. Really good to tonight. meet you. Keep up the good work. Right, thank you. Well, let's gather.